All right, in today's video, how to check if a list is empty in Python. And this topic was inspired by this Stack Overflow question of the same name. And you'll see that the accepted answer is pretty straightforward, if not A. But there's quite a lot of discussion because we do have quite a lot of options available to us as to how we check for empty lists. So I have some code here. I have five potential solutions and we're going to walk through the pros and cons of each one and the implications. So let's get into it right now. The way I want to start this discussion of checking for empty lists is to remind ourselves that an empty list like this is a falsy value. So if we wrap bool around our empty list, we see that that returns false. And as soon as we put anything inside our list, that's going to return true. Also worth mentioning, empty lists are not the only falsy values. So say an empty dictionary is going to return false. Um, an empty string is going to return false. The word false is going to return false. So there's lots of different falsy values of which an empty list is just one of them. But this truthy, falsy nature of lists is going to play an important role as we look at our potential solutions. You'll even see that when we look at this um, top rated answer on Stack Overflow, they're recommending that you use the implicit Booleanness of an empty list. And so let's go to our code, let's go to our five solutions. And I guess the first thing we'll do is just run this uh, to give you guys a feel for it. So I have an empty list up here called list one. And then I have five different ways that we could check if this is an empty list. And if it goes into our if block of code, it's going to print out empty one, empty two, empty three, etc. So all of these have determined that list one is empty. And as soon as I put a value in here, like say Python, when we run that again, um, there's going to be no output. But when we remove our value and we have an empty list, when we run that, um, all five values get printed out um, you know, determining that it's an empty list. So let's start by looking at our first solution, and that is if not list one. So here we're really again talking about the implicit Booleanness of an empty list. And this is basically the equivalent of saying if not false. And you'll see that that will go into the empty block as well. Another way to think of this is if you wrapped a bool around list one. So if we did bool, and we run this, um, that's going to run as well. That's going to go into the if block. So you could really think of this bool as being implicit here. So if not list one and if not bool list one are basically the same thing. It's checking for that truthy, falsy nature of the list. All right, now let's move on to solution number two. And with solution number two, we're still doing our if not list one. But we've added another statement here. And what we're doing is we're using the isInstance built-in function to make sure that what we have is indeed a list. So again, let's run this again and see that we have all five of our values. But what if we had, say, an empty string? Well, when you run that, um, number one is still printing out because any falsy value is going to get through. Um, and what's another one we could do? We could do an empty dictionary. We can run that and empty one is still printing out. But you can see that in both of these cases, empty two did not print out. And the reason is because these were not lists. So what I like about this solution, the reason I wanted to show solution two here for you guys is because the problem with or the limitation of solution one is it's going to let any falsely value through. It's not really specifically looking at lists. So here, we're going to specifically only let list through. We're going to check the type before we check the Boolean nature of that list. So I think this is a great way to ensure that what you have is a list before you move on to the operations inside your print statement um, or inside your if statement rather, in this case being a print function. All right, now moving on to our third solution. And you'll see here we're using the any built-in function. And there's something cool about this. So again, let me run this and show you that we've printed out all five of our print statements. Well, what do you think would happen 
if I put an empty list inside our empty list. Well, when I run that, only our solution number three, only the any is going to be useful in this situation, and only solution number three prints out a value. So worth mentioning, um, again, with the bool built-in function, that an empty list is falsy. But an empty list inside an empty list is going to be truthy. So if that was something that was interesting to you, if that is a use case that you might need to handle, empty lists inside an empty list, nested empty lists, then using the any built-in function might be a good use case for you. And I actually have a whole video dedicated to the any built-in function in my built-in function series. So I'll try to link that up in the notes for this video. All right, now moving on to solution number four using the len built-in function and basically checking if, they, if the length of our value is equal to zero. And again, we can run this and MT4 has clearly printed out. And if we go to our Stack Overflow question, let me just copy this actually, copy the equals equals zero. And if I search this, you'll see there's actually 16 mentions of it on the page. So you can see that a lot of people do enjoy doing this and they like sort of the explicit nature of this to check um, if lists are empty. So I, I'll even just make a code comment here and say that this is an explicit way of checking for empty lists. And again, this is a pretty common solution. People will say that it's unpythonic or maybe that it's slower, but it definitely does to some extent seem a little bit more readable. And then moving on to number five, this is actually pretty similar to number four in that we're being a little bit more explicit. And in this case, we're actually doing a better job of checking if our type is a list. So for number four, um, again, if we go up and we change this to an empty string, when we print that out, empty number four is gonna print out because that length will be zero. Um, so that is going to flow into our print statement. We didn't even check if that was a list. So I think that's a little bit of the benefit of this fifth potential solution here is that at least you're checking if it's a list and you're really explicitly checking if it's an empty list. So I'm going to copy this and just paste it into our Stack Overflow page. And yeah, 15 mentions of it. So, you know, this guy's saying that he prefers it. And there's, of course, discussion around, you know, if this is Pythonic, um, you know, people are saying don't do this, but it is a pretty good, clear, well-written way of showing what you're trying to accomplish. I would say that personally, I've taken, um, you know, the, the idea of this solution number five, and that's what I was trying to personally accomplish in solution number two, because I do want to check if it's a list. I'll, I do want to make sure that other types of values, other data structures are not flowing through into my code. So number two and number five sort of have that in common. I should also mention the pep at this point in time. And I'll try to read this out for you. And it says that for sequences, such as strings, lists, tuples, we want to use the fact that empty sequences are false. So in the pep, in official Python, they're saying that you want to do the if or if not. You don't want to be checking length. And I would actually put this in the same category. So they're probably saying, okay, you don't want to check an explicit um, a list or whatever there. So basically the pep is saying that number four and number five is something that you don't really want to do. And what would be more Pythonic is more solutions number one and two. So there you have it. That's what the pep says. And the pep as well as the Stack Overflow community kind of agree that you want to use the implicit Boolean-ness and so solutions one and two are certainly your best answer, but I wanted to show you four and five as well, just to show you A, what options you had available to you, and B, what, what the kind of discussion is in the community surrounding this. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about how to check for empty lists in Python. We've looked at five different solutions, two exploring the implicit Boolean-ness of an empty list, um, two, being a little bit more explicit, checking for the length um, or checking for the type. And then I threw in a little wild card as well, 
um, with the any built-in function. So there are five potential solutions. Again, you know, there's a lot of discussion out there in the community, but I think the consensus is generally that using the implicit Booleanness is the way to go. But sometimes, uh, maybe just leave a code comment if you do want to go this way and you really want to do a better job of type checking your code. So um, yeah, this has been how to check for empty lists in Python. Thanks for watching.